right. This second video talks to item three of the rule in section eight regarding cost calculations and the demands for the service that we would use for residential heating. 8201 item three tells us that electric space heating loads are calculated using the rules from section 62-118. When we look at that rule, 62118, rule three tells us that baseboard heat, which by the way includes, say, a heater in a sauna, we take the first 10,000 kilowatts at 100% and the balance at 75%. Now, the reason they do this, adjust this demand factor is because baseboard heat has its own thermostat, each baseboard heater, each area. And that means they're going to cycle on and off and they're not all, always going to come on at the same time. Sub rule four says that for a furnace, we have to take that as 100% towards our service calculation. And that's because when the furnace comes on, it comes on all together, all at once. In a previous video, I spoke to the rule of thumb about how many watts of baseboard heat we need per square foot. And it's generally acceptable that we use 10 watts of baseboard heat per square foot. So this uh, example, a tri-level 9 meter by 12 meter home would be 324 square meters. If I convert that, I get 3,487.5 square feet times 10 watts per square foot gives me 34,875 watts that I need. When I'm calculating my service, I'm taking into account the baseboard heating. So that 34,875, I, I take the first 10,000 at 100% towards my demand. Then I take that number minus the 10,000, which is called my balance, and I take that at 75%. Add those two numbers together, I get 28,656 watts of heat is needed for this home. Now that's an awkward number because we saw that baseboard heaters don't really work out to, to odd numbers. So I would round up this number to 29,000 watts of heat. If I had a furnace in the home, they said that the furnace was taken at 100%, I need 34,875 watts of heat times 100. Um, rounded up would be 35,000 watts of heat. Any air conditioning loads, I would also take at 100% as long as they're not interlocked. And what that means is some pieces of equipment, say heat pumps, have electronic controls so that the heating and the air conditioning cannot come on at the same time. In the case of especially baseboard heat, we would expect that the air conditioner would be separate from the baseboard heat and it would, um, it, they could both be on accidentally at the same time. 